She fine. You're convinced that she's yours any time. <laughs> I don't Happy even remember Monday. the rest of the lyrics. You're the one in the room that's making a rock to the groove. She's all yours. Screw the rest. Till she stabs her high heel in your chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like your lyric, not Brian's. That's my lyrics. That's my lyrics. So is uh, Where's the, there's a good one in the end. Oh, Sue, that's very funny. I'm in no way religious, but thank God for this show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, well, thank God for you, children of the lawn. Yes, thank God for you, children of the lawn. I'm just going to wait till because I love... Uh... And we are not religious, but we are spiritual. Yeah. 
And we okay. know that it was meant to be. Yeah, here comes one of my favorite lines in the song. Obviously, it's about a stripper, right? Yes. Going home, all alone. Only your dream has been blown. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> you, you know. You get it? You know, you get I get it. it, I get it and that's now, I got it. Typically what Oh, look who's here, there they are. Oh, the name's on the chairs. Oh, yeah. Now, have you seen? That we means a, it's robot fighting time. What? We have a little brown chair in the back that no one has claimed. Yeah, nobody wants a little brown chair. How I love thee. Uh, <laughs> you and me. Little, oh, there they go. Who? What? Who goes? Oh, the chairs. <laughs> She's looking around. Well, I'm... Who? I've got to read the comments. We've been, we've been alone here for two years. Say hi to the peeps. Hi, peeps. Hi, peeps. Oh, you know what I saw today? I do. Tell them. Uh, you don't know because I didn't tell you. Okay. I went into tell Walgreens and they have the Easter candy out. And there are now like hot, spicy peeps. And they're like flaming red looking. Peeps. Peeps. Little Make, hot peeps. peeps that makes you weeps. Man. Hot peeps. That just sounds hot bad. Hot peeps. That's... Hot damn. <laughs> Police in <laughs> a fire, man. Hot peeps. <laughs> no, it sounds bad, hot peeps. Hot peeps. <laughs> it's not a good, it's, it doesn't sound good. Oh, Kitty loves her lounge chair and the colors. Well, I'm glad, Kitty. Well, you were good. Like, yeah, well, listen, I think she you was know. the first to pick hers. No, no, no. Lori Richardson was. Yeah. She picked the one in the middle, and I think Kitty was the second one. Would she get the lawn chair? Yeah. I gotta go check now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got it. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, Sue Lucente had said that she has uh, a chair in real life that looks like her children in the lawn chair. Wow. Well, you know, um, first of all, we want you to go and log on to childrenofthelawn.com because we're. <laughs> My lawn chair is now on sale. <laughs> Banks are trying to shut me down. Have you seen that maniac? <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Mypillow.com or whatever um, it is, mystore.com. No, 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 my pillow guy, he's now got slippers. Slippers. And he's like, everybody I'm, tried to shut me, shut me down. Everybody tried banks. to shut me down. The bank, the government, well, I don't know what like, he was what even talking about. what did he do? Uh, I don't know. All Selling because of his pillow. Poison pillows? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know either. I don't know. I don't know. But it's like, that doesn't make me want to buy his other products. If the banks are trying to shut you down, what the hell did you do? Yeah, what did you do, man? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, we have a new possible, well, a new hmm. viewer, Suze. S O O Z. Suze. I don't see Suze. Fresh Cup. Sue's fresh go. Okay. It's easy for you to say. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Suze. Happy yeah. Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. Her name's probably Susie. So, you know, I know you're waiting for some uh, history lesson, the history of rock. Oh, we'll give you a history lesson. <laughs> we'll give you a history of rock lesson. I'll give you a history we lesson. We know a lot about rock. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We don't need anybody on here telling us anything. No. We have lived it, Dottie. <laughs> we have kind of lived it, haven't Isn't we? Is that right, Pee Wee? Yeah. No, you got it right. You got it right. I was just, you know, I was just thinking about the long, dark train. <laughs> 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 For those of you that watch Yellowstone, yeah, but, you know what we're talking about. Because I've been on a long, dark train. No, it's, uh, it's dark, not that one. No. no. I've been on the one that goes back and forth across the country and through Canada. It wasn't a train, though. No. Seemed you were like on the train. bullet train? I was on the bullet train. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, um, you guys, it's just me and Steve tonight. Yeah. Which? And let me tell you something about the bullet train. Here's the thing: you're going from <laughs> you're going from one end of of Japan to the other, pretty much, in a bullet train. I think we were going to Fukuoka, um, from Tokyo. I don't remember the routing, but it was a long ride. And 
you get on the bullet train and it's like, yes, yeah, son, on the bullet train, bullet train. And then the thing takes off and you can, they, they let you feel it a little bit, but they, you know, but, and there's a, I mean, there used to be, uh, yeah, a, a, a speedometer that tells you how fast you're going kilometers and miles per hour on each chair. No, it's kind of like over the door. Oh, well, you like have to a, go like walk and like look at the claw. door. No, you can see, you know. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> have you been on a train? Not in a very, very long time. Since they're using electricity? No, no this was like old black smoke, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Well, I haven't been on old black smoke. I had old black smoke, but I was so mine gone. was not an electric train. No, that's true. Was mine not. was a coal. Um, yeah, which is good. That's good. Yeah, um, I think my parents just did that because uh, the train station was two blocks away from our house, so they would put me and my sister on this train that would come through town. They'd go to check to see if they came back or not. <laughs> they come through town like once or twice a year and it was my father said oh here comes old black smoke because you'd see this black billowing smoke yeah, tell, tell them where they used the to coal. take it and then it, see i lived in louisiana and it would drive us across the state line to picayune mississippi picayune and we would go out, get off the train at the train station and there was a little <laughs> restaurant and my parents would drive there they and would meet drive us. To picayune. that's right and um then we would ride home and i would always see like horses on the side of the road in like you know fields and with trees and i would say those are wild horses and there was always this little black and white one that i was i was determined i'm gonna go catch that catch that yeah well you you saw my cowgirl outfit Uh, yeah i didn't see your black and white horse though you never (laughs) caught it Okay, so I, th- I don't really think it was a wild horse in Mississippi. <laughs> no, no, you probably would have got shot. But that was like big doings. And I think my parents just like wanted to get the fuck rid of us. It's like, put them on a train. <laughs> Let's see if they made it. Yeah, they used to. Yeah. Okay. So listen, that's okay. Yeah. I wrote a song about some of those things that you used to do. That's right. Stepping on a bumblebee. Yeah. It's actually honeybees. Because they would be on the clover flowers. Well, Honey flowers. Bee doesn't sing that well in that particular song. Well, they they would be on the clover flowers. I would catch bumblebees in azaleas. I would go across the street with my jar. I would pretend I was Take sick and not go to school. And my father would go to work, so then my mother would let me out of the house to do whatever I wanted. And I'm talking like grammar school. And I would catch bumblebees as many as I could, and then I would let them go. Yeah. She would let me out of the house. I th- I think it was more like she would force me out of the house. And I had to be go back. Now you can go outside now, Laurie. It's Before, uh, amazingly, I felt better like right after my father left work. Amazing. I feel better now. Can I go outside? Huh? Yeah, I insist. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I, I don't think, Mark, I don't think I'm going to repeat this now. What? Because it's political. Is there politicalness? Well, he said that the pillow guy supports Trump. That's why the banks don't like him. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, no, we, I don't we know. Can't we don't want to know. We can't go there. We, oh, okay. Go Pat there. wants Gail to bring some chips tomorrow because that steel bar stool is our cocktail table. That's right. So, yeah. So, look for your chips. And there. I told you that Sue likes squishing peeps. She likes what? What do you like to squish them with? Your hands or your mouth? Or? Squishing hot peeps. Not this hot is, this peeps. Is not, not this hot is, peeps. Uh, Just peeps. She doesn't know about the hot squishing peeps. Squishing peeps. That I sounds think... like a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> you know so, what? I don't know where people find out about those weird fetish. Oh, with her fingers. Okay. You like like a marshmallow. You like squishing marshmallows with your fingers too? I would think so. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know. For some reason, I always like getting the white peeps and they had the pink eyes. I like those. I was tempted, but I didn't say it. You know what I was going to say, but I didn't say it. White peep with the pink eyes? Just... And you know what's something very strange? I would always get a white chocolate Easter bunny in my basket. And Steve did too. How about that? Hey, let's we, let's get married. Well, we were meant to be. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Well, because nobody else I knew liked white. Well, my my brother, um, 
worked at Milkmaid. Like they know what that is. I'll bet some of them do. I never know. Well, you're not from. <gasps> Gail got the white chocolate based uh, bunny too. Whoa! Well, anyway, my, well. That's why. Does you're anybody one know the Milkmaid? Nobody one. remembers Milkmaid? There was only one that was in White Plains. I never even went to Milkmaid. It was closed before you got there. Yeah. Yeah, but the Breeze used to work at Milkmaid. Well, like they know that, who that is. No, my road. Never had the Breeze on. Uh, yeah, I got, you know, he's too professional now. He left, he, he left me. That's because he's a computer genius. Yeah, so you probably shouldn't be setting up drums for the Robin Zander band. Uh, he went out on the road and he was the, He was the best. I love the Breeze so much. We had such a good time out there. We always had a good time. If you've ever seen the picture of Steve holding a banana to a guy's head, he's got it from behind and he's got the banana to his head. That's the breeze. Like Steve had a gun to his head, but it was well, a banana. Well, see, his, la his, la his last name is Breon. And, uh, and, everybody and everybody in the band had a nickname. I used to pass out nicknames for everybody just because we didn't know who everybody was. And the weirdest part was we had these two guys both named John that would come and they were both great guys and we you know they both have but we couldn't we didn't we knew they were both johns but we didn't know what they were which one was who and so we just gave them names you know like uh john number one worked for a cable company so he turned into tv john and um <laughs> and i when and I'm john, ready, I thought he john the other john worked for fives fives company when it was on long island so he became dr fives and uh, the rest, as they say, is uh, jail time, okay. uh, history. Uh, one of our children of the lawn, Sue, yes. said Elmont had a milkmaid. Really? Where's Elmont? I, I Where wonder is if it was Elmont? In New Jersey? Yeah, Jersey, Elmont, New Jersey. Uh, is that New Jersey, Sue? Oh, well, she's from Long Island. Elmont, Long Island? Elmont, I don't New know. York? We don't know where Elmont is. Yeah, we don't. So, I mean, just... <laughs> So, help yes, us up to done. that now. I wonder if it was the same thing. Did it have the the Big Dipper where you you got the cone? Got they would burgers. Do, yeah, it, was, it had all the food stuff, but the but it was really about the ice cream and the milkshakes. Oh, now they're bringing drinks to the party tomorrow. Um, drinks. Yep, yeah. Kitty's gonna bring the Kahlua and cream. Oh, we're going to get ripped for whoever's coming on tomorrow. All right. Who is? We don't know who's coming no, on tomorrow. No, we've got to wait for old Angus to tell us. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, history of rock and roll. Well, wait. Oh, she said it's in Long Island by the Belmont Racetrack. Oh, okay. Oh, Elmont, okay. okay. Elmont or Belmont? No, Elmont. Elmont was by the Belmont? Yeah. Wow, they rhymed? Go figure. <laughs> Maybe somebody spelled one of them wrong. <laughs> no, no, I meant no, Elmont. Okay. Belmont. Was Belmont by Freeport? Belmont Raceway. Belmont was by... The Belmont Stakes? Oh, No, uh, yeah, what, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. the one that was near Chris? Belmont. Is that the one? Yeah. And I'm thinking of Belmore, I think. <laughs> no, that's not... Yeah. Okay, Belmont Racetrack is in Elmont, she says. Huh. And she said it had food and milkshakes, etc. Is that, yeah, wait, that's milkmaid. Yeah, milkmaid. Oh, that was like Steve's favorite. Oh, I remember I got so freaking sick at milkmaid <laughs> when he was a little kid. My mo my mother let me get the large cup of ice cream. It's like the first time I've ever I've been. You know, now I'm what seven or eight or whatever it is. And I, now I can get the large cup of ice cream. <laughs> Probably because my brother was working there. We got a discount. I don't know. So I get the large ice cream. And I'm looking at it, right? And it's just ice cream. And they, they point me over to the Big Dipper. I remember, oh, the Big Dipper, yeah. What was the Big Dipper? The Big Dipper was this giant, um, like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It had like everything. It, it had all the different fixings for your Sunday. It started off with a, it had a, a thing, a plastic uh, container with crushed nuts in it. And then it had strawberries and pineapples and cherries and uh, hot, fudge. hot fudge and hot butterscotch and sprinkles. And I mean, just a marshmallow. 
trying to think of what Russell else. Gambino, were you hacked or should we click on whatever this is you sent? Did I send that? Are you Russell Gambino? Oh, Russell Gambino? I think it's a picture of a milkmaid, but I'm afraid to click oh, on it. Let me it. see. It's a GIF. Yeah, but it says be, S3 Amazon. I don't know. Don't, no, not to worry. She click on it? Okay. She we, gets very upset. With I don't want to get hacked. No. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, now, Lori well, Richardson. Well, Russell, Russell would remember. He well, would remember Lori milkmaid. Richardson said they had a Marcus Jerry similar to Milkmaid in Danbury. Okay, so did it have the Big Dipper thing where you put all your own toppings on it? Because what I did... All for pay one price, right? Yeah, pay one price. Just go over there with your thing and, you know, put on your favorite topping. Or every topping <laughs> in the Big Dipper. Butterscotch. But they won't all fit, see? So you have to dig a hole down in the middle. The pointy part, you have to get that out of there. Wait, wait, wait. You learned this on the first time? On the fly, man, yeah. <laughs> Because I realized that, you know, stuff was running over the sides and I couldn't it didn't even get to the marshmallow yet. I don't do the fruit. I'm not about the, the pineapples and that that just gets in the way. I want all the heavy duty stuff. Marshmallow, butterscotch, hot fudge. Oh, there's chocolate sauce and it's all kinds of crap there. Right. And you, I, man. Milkmaid was two blocks from Sue's house. It was two blocks from Steve's house in White Plains. I'm a little farther than two blocks, but yeah, it was right down the street on Marinick Avenue. Oh, look at uh, that. Anyway, Steve, that was... Look at that pink one there. Yeah. Is that real? Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Do you, you don't see any weird code, do you? No. So don't worry about it. Paolo. Okay, yeah, so he Welcome. put every single thing, butterscotch, hot fudge, chocolate sauce, strawberries, uh, and I got so sick that he puked. And I threw up. <laughs> that, was a, that was the first time I remember throwing up from, like, eating stuff. Was it still cold when it came up, <laughs> like mine? You like yours? Yes! <laughs> mine was yeah, not Yeah, it was still big. cold. It was still oh cold. Oh, my God. It was, uh, oh, that's, that was the weirdest thing. Still yeah. cold ice cream coming up. Okay. Well, anyway. What? What? Stevie looks like a Richard Gear after Halloween. What the hell does that yeah, what mean? What does that mean, Paolo? Stevie looks like a Richard Gear after Halloween. We don't know what the hell you're talking about, Paolo. I can't be insulted unless you explain that. <laughs> <laughs> After Halloween. <laughs> Maybe that's not what he meant. Maybe it's a spell checker. I don't know. We're getting code now. Nah. No code. Okay. Okay. Well. Have you seen Richard Gere after Halloween? No, and I he haven't seen Palo either, so amazing. maybe I should he's look Palo up. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that was a compliment. It was, huh? You should, have you ever seen him after Halloween? Frickin' one of the best looking guys on the planet. I, Richard Gere? Right after Halloween, but just, just, for, right after just Halloween. for a split second. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so. And he's calling you Stevie. Stevie. Maybe he's talking about Stevie Nicks. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He, yep, you got it right. You got it right. Ha, ha, ha. You're an amazing drummer. Thank you, Paolo. <laughs> oh, no, he's not talking about your looks. Well, that's okay. Because he care. doesn't want us I, to see he, what he, he looks you like. You know what? I probably do. <laughs> nah, that's okay. Listen, Paolo, grazie. Uh, Paolo, we're only nice on this show now. He was being nice. He said I was an amazing here friend. after Halloween. I, I, you know, are you going to do? Are you kidding me? Have you seen how good he looked right <laughs> after Halloween? American anyway, Gigolo. Thank you. thank you, Paolo. And welcome to our uh, little nut house. And this, <laughs> This would be the uh, lunatic running the asylum. That oh, would be he's me. in Brazil. Greetings from Brazil. From Brazil. Oh, that's uh, uh, thank you, and thank you for it's a long trip, man. I hope uh, I hope you're with us for a while. Anyway, Brazil, land of Giselle. Giselle. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful girls, women, beautiful people from Brazil. It's a great place. Yes, it is. Um. Maybe we get Paolo to do the Brazil report. <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> no, no, and we, yeah, we're we're um, we've we've traded in the the Key West report. We've tra- traded that in for Guitar Talk, which will happen uh, periodically. Periodically, yes. Mm-hmm. You just have to stay tuned to your local. We know you guys want to hear the videos of Wednesday nights. Yeah, well, that's the only way we have to do it. But I got um, I picked some videos for tonight. I've picked some videos. Now you might have heard. Yeah. 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 Okay. You heard the opening track there, right? It's called Try a Little. And that, uh, Mark, Mark Hitt and I wrote the music to that, and Brian Johnson and I wrote the lyrics. And, and Cliff yeah, played bass. And Cliff played bass. Cliff Williams. Yeah, Cliff Williams. And, um, I said to, I said to Brian, you know, Got an idea for the song? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, mate, yeah, oh. It's either about shagging or fighting or (laughs) shagging. Because that's what ACDC writes about. And since he's he's got a book, and it's got a book, and it's shagging and fighting. Really? No. I would not be surprised. But he did. Have, I know he had a book. Was it didn't say shagging, well, shagging and, fight. and fighting? No, no, no. But um, hmm. yeah. But uh, and we wrote that song in a day. We just he had try a little. He liked the hook. Try a little. Try a little. Try a little. And um, so we wrote it about that. We wrote it around that around the the strip club about guy going to strip club and thinking that you know the girl that's you heard it (laughs) five times (laughs) um and uh and then it was like well you know let's do another one let's do another one and by the time we were done we had like most of an album's worth of material yeah and so i'm thinking to myself and they're and you know and they're just like it's like it's not like you're hanging out with bobo and dino (laughs) (laughs) No, it's it's more like Bobo and Dino than it is uh, Daltrey and Townsend. Right? Well, that's true. Yeah, there, there's all. Um, there, it's just I don't it know was the fucking Dino. <laughs> no. What I mean me. is what I what I mean is um, there was no attitude. You know, everybody sort of checked their ego at the door, and it was you know there was it was just it was. Not well, what I expected. You wouldn't have been hanging be. around with them if they had. Uh, no, I wouldn't have. But but the and... fact that they, you know, they, uh, I you know, I produced the sessions, which means whatever it means, it's the order of how things go down and what we're going to do and so on and so forth. And um, Brian said, "Well, you're not going to pull a mutt langer on us, are you?" And I said, "Well, what?" That's the second time I've been asked if I was going to produce somebody like Mutt Lang. First was Ann and Nancy Wilson, and and that was uh, and the second time was Brian and Cliff. Uh, apparently, he said he said I guess it was the Back in Black album that that uh, Mutt produced. He said he was making his Mutt his, Lang. Yeah, that's what I said. Mutt Lang. I said Mutt Lang. Oh. Anyway. I'm sorry. I was just blocking somebody. <laughs> oh, you were having pirates coming in. Pirates. Hello, Karab. Hello, Karab. Really? Yeah, if you see any of these weird links on there, guys. Don't click on them. It's, we know. have learned. We Googled it. <laughs> oh, we got Kenny Evans in the house. Hey, Kenny. So, so anyway, hey, Kenny. Um, as we're, you know, hanging out and doing what you do and writing songs and doing this. And they're... Uh, now, nah, you know, we haven't toured in six years, and I don't know when the next time. I said, you know, do you talk to those guys? Nah. It was like, okay. I was <laughs> you're like you're John a band with, with the, somebody, and you don't talk to them for was six like years? John with Pete and Roger. He didn't talk to the guys in The Who. Well, that's true. No, he did not. Are you not. in touch with the guys from The Who? Only through a medium. <laughs> uh, well, because you grow up, and you become who you were going to be, and yeah, you yeah. don't really, you know... Well, okay, but so, uh, but the I mean for 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 what this situation was, these guys were pretty down to earth. I yes, mean, you know. they were. And, Until. Uh, <laughs> and so you know, so it's all good. We're playing. We play uh, across the country, up to new uh, from uh, from. We started here in Southwest Florida, then we went up to 
um, Ruth Eckert Hall, and then we flew up to uh, Chicago and headed east for whatever the, you know, we did the, was it the House of Blues or the Hard Rock? I don't know, someplace. When Robin was staying at the hotel next door, Robin Zander. Right. Was staying at the hotel next door just by chance. Yeah, and he came and sang with us that night. Yeah. And, and it uh, was, it was uh, the House of Blues. House of Blues. Mm-hmm. That's where Brian made the waitress cry at. Uh... No, that was blue, wasn't it? Well, uh, it wasn't the time I was talking about. No, no, about. no, no, no. That was a waiter, I thought, about the bread. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not throwing him under the bus for that. I didn't say that. I'm not, I'm just not <laughs> doing that. No, 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 no. So, watch this. As well. Let me finish with your watch this. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um so we record all these songs, and it's like, well, what do you want to do with them? Well, let's go play. Because we haven't played in six years. And I said, All right, let's go play. So I set up a tour. We went out and did it, and we finished it, and it was very successful. And they said, Yeah, this was great. And we were talking about names for the band and should it be Forklift? Should it be Johnson, Williams, Longo and Hitch? Should it be, you know? And I called my agent at the time uh, out of the West Coast and said, listen, I'm got a band with two of the guys in ACDC and we're doing this and that and the other thing. And, you know, can you book us a tour? And Jim said, yeah, man, whoa, wow. And he books, I don't even want to tell you, how many shows and how much money Mm -hmm. but uh the last show that we played on that tour was was it bb kings no the last show would have been uh the chance but we played bb kings before we went up to the chance right and just so happens acdc's manager and uh and uh steve barnett from sony uh yep came to uh see the band and by the time we got to uh, Brian's 60th birthday party, <laughs> uh, the brothers were already in Vancouver. The Paul, brothers young. Yeah, the brothers young. See, you're talking like these people know what you're talking about. Sorry, I, th- I think they do know what I'm talking about. The brothers? The brothers, the brothers young, Angus and Malcolm. Mangus. Okay. Uh, And they said, oops, not not going to be able to do the tour because they want us to make a record. Ah, wow. Okay. Okay. See ya. You got a video to play? I do.
yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Highway to hell. Uh, Or as we like to call it, Highway 41. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) We tried to avoid that. US 41. Yes, that's uh, yes, that's in an Allman Brothers song. I was born in the back of a Greyhound bus rolling down Highway 41. The long, yeah. We live a mile from it. Yeah, if, if that. But we try yeah, to avoid that. it because yeah, we don't, we don't. there's a lot it's of the highway to hell. It's you know what it is down that here, guys. It's hell. it's there's a lot of people that. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not going to do Okay, we got the concert report here. The concert report. Oh, Ace, yeah. Ace was at the Chance last night. Yes, Ace wow. was at the Chance. Cheap and Tricks. I, I saw the Cheap Tricks. Well, who was playing Vegas. with Ace? Was, uh, it's called, um, uh, oh, what's he called? Not it Return now? to the Common. Come on. A handful of Aces or something like that. Oh, is, is Re- new, Skinny in the band? I, I saw it on Facebook and I really didn't pay and much is it, attention. Uh, what's his name? The drummer? Stevie. I saw it on Facebook and I really didn't pay much attention. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that was a great ending with Joe Lynn Turner and company. That's right, Richard. Yeah, that, that was, was Joe that Lynn. Was, uh, Joe Lynn Turner and from Rainbow um, and Scotty Hill from Deep Purple. Uh, Scotty Hill, Skid Row, Scotty Hill. He actually spent the night over here, Scotty, when you were rehearsing. We for locked that. the door. What? Took him in. Oh, he's so. Oh, he's, he was great. Let he me tell great. you what. He may have his. His nose is pierced, and he's got like a chain going from his nose piercing to his ear piercing. And he hangs his laundry off the chain, which is, you know, it's a, but he is like a very sweet you know, he's, guy. He's a great guy <laughs> and, and, and a really good guitar player and quite a showman. If you saw at the end of that clip when they finally pulled out, and that was our news anchor, Krista Fogel song. Um, it was, it was, uh, that was a good show. That was opening night. Uh, oh, okay, so Brenda saw Alice Cooper. Oh, she's going to see Alice Cooper in a few weeks, and Buck Cherry's Who playing was with I, him. Oh, yeah, Buck Cherry's great. I saw Alice Cooper, like, in 1972, Who are we talking Who's, Is Is Greg playing with Alice Cooper this time? Greg Smith? I, I don't know, Steve. I'm not. <laughs> anybody? Greg Smith, anybody? Uh, last I heard, he was with Nugent. Oh, well, yeah, you can't do it well. He's he's Nugenting. He's He's Nugenting. He's Nugenting. Hey, listen, as long as he's playing, that's what really kind of, I tell you what, I can't wait to get the uh, the Roy Orbison thing out on the road. That's see, you know, going to be fun. I that's, don't really read much about the concerts anymore because I don't go to concerts anymore. So. You I get one every so day. Every day that you walk into that kitchen and I have the control room door open, you get a concert every yeah, day. But I have gone to so many in my life that... I'd rather just stay home and watch Yellowstone. Yeah, now that we have to try to find where season four is. It's going to be on Peacock. On so March it's not 28th. even out yet? No, if you want to go to Paramount, not Paramount Plus, but Paramount Network. Okay, well, that's fine too. Start in Florida, Steve. What are you talking about, Gail? What? He's not touring. Oh, I'm... <laughs> he is not touring. I'm not going out. No. I might. I mean, I have. I'm not going out with that. I mean, I have my own little things that I'm cooking up, uh, but they won't be. <clears throat> if I mean, I I certainly don't mind doing um, some New York shows and some you know some shows. I've got I've got a record coming out to support, so I've you know. But um, right now you're producing a show. Yeah, but right now I'm. I'm the man, Roy Orbison show. I thought. Nah, well, I told you that. I thought when you come to Florida, it all ends. I didn't think it was like all of a sudden downhill. Like ah, I didn't a, think a it all ended. I did not think that. I didn't know there was as many. Uh, well, when that guy he, was here. standing at the state line and handed me a cigar and said, "Welcome to Florida." Oh God! <laughs> gave me a beach jacket and some sunglasses. Let me tell you what, it was never like on. that. Even the mob like hung out down here. Yeah. yeah. Not down here. In Southwest Florida? Miami. That's not uh, Southwest Tampa. Florida. Hey, right. And, right. And what should we call it up there? Where we used to eat why with Larry? Ebor City. Yes, Ebor City. Did we ever finish watching that thing? Huh? The Ebor City one? 
I don't really remember the name of that so, one. So. <laughs> I know that the end of season three of Yellowstone was like, oh my God, I want to see season four now. But we yeah, have to wait. Okay, so you'll have to breathe a little. Yeah, that's right. I wonder where's. Uh, so, anyway, I forgot to clap for your uh, ACDC. Uh, Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that was, uh, you know, listen, no matter what, that was, uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was, it Dennis was, it, Dunaway is still on board. Wow. Wasn't he with, with Alice Cooper? Yeah. Is he, oh, that's he what Richard with? Wing said. Oh, uh, he was talking about with Ace. Yeah, I was talking about with Ace. Well, here's Black Gumby. Did you guys get the, did you enjoy the Black Gumby episode? I thought that was, oh, that uh, was funny. We had, we went after the Black Gumby episode Friday. We had to go back and watch that part of it over again because it was, and we were cracking. I mean, I you know I we think we're funny. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a pretty good time, huh? Yes, we do. Do we have a really? Yeah, good time? yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. So no, we do. We, we do. We, we absolutely do. Well, um. Uh, <laughs> what you don't think we do i think we definitely do i wouldn't still be here but where would you be <laughs> i would be in okay, here i am trying to see who's in freaking aces band now well, why would you do that because you're asking me like i'm supposed to care. know these things no, i'm inside oh oh look who it is it's the floating bean hey, hey man uh okay um mm, 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 mm. what nothing i'm mm, 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 at you i wonder if he's playing G genghis khan on this tour this tour <laughs> uh speaking of genghis khan um i don't know how i'm going to segue into this <laughs> uh, i have one of your favorite singers i think i i don't think you've ever seen this you either. No, I don't think you've. I don't think. No, I don't think Richie's still with Ace. Is what? No, uh, Richie has been. No, Wing, Richie's no, he he's doing his own thing. Yeah, and uh, but I guess it's not Steve. It's not Budgie either. I don't think because I think he's playing with Mark or something. I don't know. I uh, I, I, uh, I no longer uh, get the publication, so I have no idea who's playing with who. Do you see? And you're asking me. You're sitting over there. You got your own little thing. <laughs> okay, Ace Freely's current band members. Let's see. Here we go. Ace oh Freely's current. See, you will learn things now. Uh, who is it currently in Ace's band? Okay, that that was from 1988. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should put in 2022. Okay, Tommy Thayer. Lead guitars? No. Okay, yeah. No, I know no, that. no. I know that's that. that's not. That's old. That's Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. The Ace is not playing with them. It doesn't matter. Go on acefraley.com. I did. Okay. All right, enough. And he's not. It's Ace. He doesn't have anything updated. <laughs> it's Ace. <laughs> it's Ace. I tell you, I did love that guitar, though. Yeah, his signature guitar. You didn't see it? Yeah, you weren't at that session? No, but when we had to go see them play, yes. He oh, he it. played it. That's right. Right. Why did we? Yeah. Billy. Ah, Billy. Yeah. But and yeah, Ace Frehley's signature him. guitar, he has uh, one of them is, uh, he's got a couple, actually. But one of them, it's a Les Paul. And it's like, you know, it's like sparkling silver sparkle drums, right? It's like that metal flake, but it fades to like this deep cobalt blue on the outside before it gets to the binding. Freaking gorgeous. It's really, really nice. I wonder if I could find So one. Sue says, Sue says, does anyone know if Todd Rundgren is okay? He canceled two shows. A friend in New York told me last night's shows. That's weird now because Matt Beck has been rehearsing with Chasm, who plays with Todd, 
Yeah, but I don't know. And they have, they're announcing tour dates. Wait, um, Chasm. Uh, Chasm's still playing with Todd. Yeah, but Chasm's playing with. Himself. <laughs> no. He is. No, but he's playing with Matt Beck. Matt, Matt yes, Beck? Matt's in Chasm's band. Oh, you see what happened? You move away. You knew that. I told you that. You, you forget. We, months ago. I know. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to show you this guitar if I can, because it's cool. You know oh, what? Um, that's not it. Richard Wing has a pretty cool guitar. He does? I showed it to you the other day. Oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Where's is school? Michael Kelly? Wait a minute. Yeah, Michael Kelly. Uh -huh. Bruce has it. Here it is. This is Ace's one, the one I'm talking about. You guys ready? Watch. No, not you. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Here, this is it. Can I move this up? I gotta make it small. I just do that. Oh, I quit. Anyway, this is it. You see the color? Blue, like, oh, ta da -da! Okay. Nice, right? Let's see. What Silver you... pickup covers. It was, it was awesome. Six. That's the guitar he was playing when we recorded that last uh, track in New York. Nice looking. Anyway, you see? That's like just, there you go. Um... So what was that other, what was this? <laughs> Oh, I bet you've never seen this before. He tested their... All right, gentlemen, we're back now uh, as we max. Stick around. Everybody, guess what? Coming up tomorrow night on... Major figure in rock and roll history. Please welcome the former bass player of The Who, John the Ox and Whistle. Thanks a lot for coming, John. Thank you. Really good to have you. And I, I think I, I speak for the entire audience when I say many of us here are expecting you to smash an instrument before this thing is over. How did that... You don't want to, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> That's... I gotta think, I remembered... Uh, I got us The Who, probably uh, one of the more influential bands on me. I remembered clear memory when I was a teenager going to see the kids who are right at the local movie theater and uh, all the kids ripped these speakers out of the wall. Now, let me give you an update here. If you saw the bass that he was playing, okay, this is the educational part. You saw the green bass that he was playing. It was a green Warwick buzzard. And Conan had just asked him if he smashed his instruments. Well, the if any of you remember the 96 tour, he started out with a pink, uh, he used to call it pink nail varnish buzzard. But it just so happened that I was digitizing the Toronto it's show, color. whatever color it was. <laughs> I was, I was uh, going through this, the Toronto show and all of a sudden I remembered that that was the show where the buzzard got smashed. And uh, then he started playing the green one. And I remember uh, that I had booked we had booked him on Conan, right? And we had to, we were coming back. We came back from uh, Canada and did the New York thing. Anyway, 
that's a little history for you. I, I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, in the movie theater, and the manager came out and started yelling at us and saying, like, I hope you're happy. The movie's <laughs> over. Everyone go home. That's disgusting. I know. It's, <laughs> it shouldn't happen. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I remembered thinking uh, one of the clearest images about The Who, of course, is, you know, Pete Townsend smashing his instruments, Keith Moon kicking over his uh, drum stand. A lot of people say you guys really started that. I was always curious, though, were you into that? Because in the same movie, you show that you have hundreds, a great collection of hundreds of bass guitars. Did you, were you into that as much? I, I, I smashed stuff in the hotel rooms. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I smashed the faces, the bass guitars in the hotel room. But oh, really? So you had your principles. I got you would... frustrated screwing the things together and trying to make them work properly. And uh, if they upset me, I'd smash them up in private. Oh, really? So you would, the others would smash them, because the bass is harder to smash. A lot of them are a solid body. There. I, I, I smashed one um, at the Cow Palace in San Francisco once, and I, I hit it on the stage. And it was a Fender bass, and it bounced up and hit me in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something that would happen to Wiley e. Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> it took 15 minutes to smash it up in uh, su- it's a lot of work. silence. Well, you guys actually also, <laughs> you, so you took your time. You'd take it back to the hotel room and methodically smash it over yeah, good yeah. and do it right. That's important. So, kids, if you're watching, do it in the hotel room. Saw it in there. And uh, you, uh, you guys, of course, were famous for, and, and kids ate this up, but you were banned from Holiday Inns because you had a reputation for, speaking of smashing hotel rooms, you were... We were banned from everywhere. Really? Yeah. I mean, we, had, we had to stay out of state in New York most of the time because we couldn't get into a hotel in New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, how does Johnny Depp then get to smash hotel rooms here? He came here and he smashed a hotel room. Yeah, Roger was next to him. Yeah, Roger Daltrey. Roger Daltrey was, he was in the hotel room when Johnny Depp smashed? Next, next to the room, yeah. You're kidding. Oh, so did oh, the yeah. police show up and like immediately grab Roger Daltrey? No. no. <laughs> uh, Roger. Someone smashed the hotel room, Roger Daltrey's there. Hey, it wasn't me. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> uh, Roger, Roger walked out and said to the policeman, huh, it only took us five minutes. It took him an hour. To... <laughs> <laughs> the guy's an amateur, yeah. Says, how did you get, uh, when I remember the, when I saw the kids were all right, all these kids were shouting out whenever you were on screen, they would scream, Ox, Ox. Your nickname was the Ox. How'd you get that nickname? What does that mean, the Ox? I started cheering it too to be cool. I didn't know what, <laughs> I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I, I don't call myself the Ox anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I lost some weight. <laughs> so I, wasn't, I wasn't the same size anymore. Oh, really? How did you lose I, the uh, weight? I guess it's because I had a constitution of an Ox. Mm-hmm. You know? uh-huh. I could drink and... Uh, not sleep and still stay up and, and who gave you that who, who gave you that nickname Keith, Keith, Moon. Keith Moon gave it to you because yeah, I was much bigger than him all right so you could take him in a fight basically back in those days I guess so yeah I would juggle, <laughs> juggle, <laughs> him. Would juggle him around all right well this brings up another point there was a lot of the who is very well known to have had a lot of strife in the band I mean a lot of bands have strife but but strife and wife yeah exactly well you guys would you guys would uh, not always get along. Uh, and you sometimes would get angry at the other band. What kind of things would you get mad about? Uh, really stupid things, like uh, not turning up on time. And, mm-hmm. Like and if people uh, were late, yeah, or if Keith you, Moon were for some reason irresponsible. Well, we were always late together because we uh-huh. shared a car. Yeah. Oh, really? I, none of us could drive. I still can't drive. So. You shouldn't be able to I shouldn't be allowed, I shouldn't to, be drive. allowed to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's going to let you guys have a car? <laughs> That's a mistake. Me. I've got six. So. Oh, you've got six? Yeah. Oh. I don't drive any of them. <laughs> what do you have them for? To drink in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm behind that, too. So you got these nice cars up on blocks in your backyard, and yep. you go there, and you sit there, no. and you drink in them. Yep. That is the weirdest... <laughs> <laughs> We've touched a nerve here with these people. They're thrilled. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I wish we had more time to talk. Unfortunately, we don't. Will you come back sometime and, and play with the band some more? Yeah, you, sure. Are you just well, saying as that? As I learned what to play this time. <laughs> that sounded great. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for doing it. Let me make sure I mention this. John's tour opens tomorrow night in Danbury, Connecticut, and it comes to Tramps in New York City on January 30th, so check him out. I've seen him live. It's amazing. John Entwistle, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. Tonight on an all-new later... How was that? How was that? That was great. 
Hey there, uh, Fluffy. What are you doing? I don't know, man. I my allergies are killing me, and I don't know why. <laughs> That's why I'm out here in space. You're a fine air. Oh God, you should probably join him. What's the matter with my computer today? It's, it's not working. It, it, it doesn't seem to be working right. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. All right I had to get out of there. Yeah, you had to get out. Oh, uh, look who's on board with you. Uh, oh yeah. Black oh yeah. Zombie. I had to bring Black along. Zombie, my man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gotta get him out of my way. Okay, Angus. There he is. Hey, Lori. Oh, hey. good. Boy, I can see you're learning. You know, you put it back down. That's awesome, bro. You got yeah, that. yeah. Right? I mean, you don't want gummy over your face. Yeah, well, because I just added them in, so it automatically goes in the front. The top, yeah. This is, yeah. All, this is all broadcast talk. Hey, by the way, uh, what did the drummer name his twins? Anna one, Anna two. <laughs> and I've heard that before. I have, I have one for you. But yeah. unfor unfortunately, I'm going to have to read it. I'm kind of going to have to read it. Is that all right? Do you have a couple of minutes? Because I know it came in late. Did you want to say anything about? Did you want to say anything about the Conan show with with John? Because I was watching that, and no. then I re I realized well, what, what, I, that was the '96. That was the, the yeah. They said some stuff. They said Conan looks reminds me of a leprechaun <laughs> on a box of Lucky Charms. <laughs> Hey, John had a good time. You know, you don't see him laugh that much uh, in interviews or things like that. And, you know, the, the whole idea of that tour for me and him was uh, he wanted to get out, you know, from underneath. Uh, I shouldn't say it yeah. that way. He, he wanted to, to do his own thing. He was the first one in yeah. that band to do a solo album. And uh, he yeah. always wanted to do his own stuff. But anyway, I, you know. Okay, so, who yeah. we got tomorrow night? Yeah, Andrew? so, yeah. All right, but okay, I'll do the, I'll do the joke later if we have time. I'll, no, you can do yeah. the joke. Well, you, you can, I don't know. No, let's do it. Okay, Tuesday. Yeah. Is the return of Jimmy Ryan. Oh, Jimmy Ryan, he yeah, was part great. two. That's right, because oh, excellent. Wait a minute, let me get these up so people can see this. Hold on, why am I not? Uh... Oh well. Okay, anyway, so Jimmy Ryan, ahead. yeah, Jimmy Ryan, player, uh, on yes. Mad Dog, and uh, oh, that's right, we didn't even we didn't even get to his other stuff. He was doing it for Carly Simon. Yep, yep, yeah, he's he, he was good. He was good. Uh -huh. he was great. Yeah, he okay, great. Wednesday is anything goes with Steve and Lori. Yeah. Thursday is Dale Crevins from Tech Twenty One. Oh. Now, I think you know more about Tech 21 than I do. Well, yeah, no. I don't know Dale. I knew Lloyd. And um, the reason I knew Lloyd was because of Joe Berger and uh, and John. Because John was, when, when I started playing with John in 87, he was using uh, the Sans Amp, the PSA, right, right. PSA 1, I think it was, in a rack. Right. He loved that thing. Well, but well, you know, when I was putting this picture presentation together, yeah, you know, because she said she would send me some pictures on Monday, and I couldn't really wait until today, so I went and grabbed some stuff off the computer, and I sent her this. I said, "Well, I got this," and she goes, "Wow, that's strange because those are some of the same pictures I was going to send you." Wow. Oh, well, they want that. They, they, I'll tell you what. They. Oh, thank they, you, it's a, a very innovative company. Um, hang on, bro. Oh, wait a minute. I need to get to the real view here. Look, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, big, maybe too big. But what I did was I had in there actually the Tech 21 logo, right? I had put in there. So I sent it to her, you know, to, to see. And she says, that's all great. She says, but... It's the wrong logo. There's another Tech 21 that makes that makes cell phone cases. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Yeah. I and she says, that's who that. I said, all right, I'm taking it out of there. <laughs> you know, I, it, it, it'll, be fun, it'll be fun to talk to her about NAM shows. That'll be a really fun show because yeah. they, she, you know, they, they've been doing NAM shows as long as I can remember and longer. Yeah. 
and Mousy with uh, Larry Hartke and the whole, you know, that's a whole nother culture, man. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I never went. I never went to one. Never went? Oh, no, it's, me either. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> you either. <laughs> wow. I didn't. Yeah, you didn't go to the Jeff Beck concert either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, okay, yeah, it'll be great. To, that, that'll be fun. Because okay. um, she remembers, I'll bet she even, I'll bet she remembers that Entwistle, the 87 Summer Nam at uh, McCormick Place. Well, okay. All right, there you go. Yeah, there so you go. Is. Oh, that's going to be good. It's going to be a good week. And, of course, always Free For All Friday. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yep. That was bad. I was, oh, I got to tell you, before we uh, get, get your humor, um, mm -hmm. after that show was over, we were laughing so hard, we went back and watched the end of it. Well, we just wanted to, to see, see Mousy's, Mousy's face. expression. Yeah. Oh. We, <laughs> It was that was uh, that, that, she was so excited. That, that was cool. party with nobody there. That's right. <laughs> okay, so what's your joke, Angus? Yeah, so lay oh, Okay, here. okay, okay. All right, make this quick. Okay, so anyway, police officer pulls over this lady, right? Says, woman says, officer, is there a problem? Officer says, ma'am, you are speeding. She says, oh, I see. Can I see your license, please? I give it to you, but I don't have one. You don't have one? I lost it four times for drunk driving. The officer says, I see. Can I see your vehicle registration papers, please? She says, I can't do that either. The officer's like, why not? Well, I stole the car. Stole it. <laughs> Yes, and I killed and hacked up the owner. You what? His body is his body is cut up in little pieces in plastic bags in the trunk. You want to oh. go see? And the officer starts backing away from the car, and he goes to his car, and he calls her for backup. Within minutes, five cop cars are around her car, right? So the uh, the lead the lead cop walks up to lead cop walks up to the vehicle and says, "Ma'am." Can you step out of the car, please? The woman steps out. She says, is there a problem, sir? And he says, one of my officers told me that you have stolen this car and murdered the owner. Murdered the owner? Yes, can you please open the trunk for me, please? She opens up the trunk and there's nothing in it. It's empty. And he says, is this your car, ma'am? She says, yeah, here's the registration papers right here. The first officer is standing back to going, what the hell is going on? All right, so he says, one of my officers claims that you do not have a driver's license. Well, what does she do? She rips out, comes out of her purse, and she get, hands him his, her, her driver's license. He looks at it, and he's kind of puzzled, and he says, thank you, ma'am. One of my officers told me that you didn't have a license, that you stole this car, and that you murdered and hacked up the owner. And the woman says, bet you the lying bastard told you I was speeding, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. very, very nice. good, very good. Yeah, oh, did I tell you about the blonde female cop that pulled over the other blonde for speeding? Women, blonde women, <laughs> female women cop and a women driver. Woman right. driver, women woman driver oh. gets pulled over by a cop. A female girl cop, woman cop. Okay. Okay. She says, I need to see your license, please. And the blonde in the car says, uh, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> and she says, well, it's it's rectangular and it's got your picture on it. And she goes, oh, OK. And she starts digging through her purse, right? And she pulls out a mirror and she's looking at it and she goes, here you go. <laughs> and the, cop, the cop looks at it and said, wow, I didn't realize you were a cop, too. <laughs> All right. well, that was a lot better and shorter than mine. <laughs> well, this was good. Yeah, no, this was good. Yours was good. How do you remember all these? Oh, you, you, oh I do, you know, they're in it. I have this little section. In your dark, head is dark, brain. Dark back there. 
and uh, they, they live there. And when it, when a joke comes along, that it, it just triggers one that is of similar, uh, you know. Okay, we are six minutes over. Oh my yes, God. Yes, I am. I'm if done. I'm going. I'm going. If, okay. If this was Pine Knob, you. we'd be fined. All right. Thanks, <laughs> bud. I'll talk to you later. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye, everybody. See you, Lori. Thanks. Take care. All right. Okay. That's uh, very good. Yeah. So, tomorrow night, we have part two of Jimmy Ryan. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, I can't wait. The guitar player that played on John Entwistle's solo album, right, Mad but, Dog. But, I uh, see, now, I had the, the whole Jimmy Ryan thing all wrong. I thought that he was a part of the band. You know, I mean, he was, he was as it turns out, a first call guy for Sessions for like everybody it just happened to turn up for that right um you know that was a uh, right place right time right, right person. yeah right bar right person. so <laughs> i mean i i was i was ready to hear all these stories about the john that he knew which was years before the john that i knew you know well anyway so uh but yeah carly simon we got to hear all about that stuff he's yeah uh, play, yeah this is gonna be a good one we one. just scraped the surface the last time. Yeah, so that's going to yes. be a lot of fun. So, so that's uh, tomorrow night. If I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. Good night, everybody.